Oops. What's going on? Hey, um, if you want to take a seat real quick. Am I getting fired? No, absolutely <laughs> not. What's going on? It's um, not my birthday. That this is, is not... This is for you and your wife. Um, we know today's the day of your big surgery, so... Thank you. You guys didn't have to. I'll take this to her. She'd love it. Thank Actually, you. Actually, if you can open up that letter for me. It has a letter from everyone on staff here. Is this a prank? No, no, no. It's are there a... are there snakes in this box? Is it? No, absolutely not, Mr. Stevens. This is for you and your wife. Guys, I told you guys you didn't have to. If you can read that letter out loud for me. Okay. Honestly, you didn't. She's gonna be fine. We know. We're, today's just, it's gonna be the last thing today and they're gonna get it all out and she's gonna be great. So I, thank you guys for worrying, but. You want me to read this out? Um, dear Mr. Stevens, first and foremost, we want to extend our heartfelt wishes to you and your wife during this challenging time. Fighting cancer is not an easy battle, but we have unwavering faith that Mrs. Stevens will persevere through this journey with your love and support. We want to express our deepest gratitude for all your hard work, dedication, and the genuine care you show as a teacher at our school. Not only do you keep our classrooms clean and beautiful, but you also bring a sense of light and warmth to all the students and staff with your kind smile and your welcoming presence. Your love for the students is evident in the way you look after them even after school hours, ensuring their safety and well-being. Even though you're going through some tough times right now, you don't let that get in the way of your job as the... <laughs> best teacher ever. <laughs> I, think, I think Mrs. Stevens would probably disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout the day, you greet all of us with a big smile, whether it be in the assembly room, classrooms, offices, or the playground. Your unwavering positivity and dedication to your work have left a lasting impact on everyone in the school community. <laughs> Now we want to return the favor with some gifts, you guys. It's nothing too much, I promise pro you. I promise, I, I told you guys, we, we don't want to make a big... I know that you didn't want to make anything a big deal. I didn't, you know, anyway. Um, with some gifts that will hopefully uplift both you and your wife during this difficult period. If you look inside the box, you'll find something that the students made to keep your spirits high. We hope that Mrs. Stevens will want to put these up in her hospital room so that whenever she looks at them, she'll know all the elementary students here are with her and hoping for the best. She should never have to be alone in that hospital during this fight. It's okay. Uh, should I open the box? Yeah, you can open the box. Oh, these are beautiful. She's gonna love these. It's perfect. And we even got some drawings from some of her students. Uh oh. These are her students. <laughs> we gotta, kindergartners, we gotta work on their spelling. She's gonna love that. She's gonna love it. This is perfect. Thank you so much. This is absolutely, thought you guys were gonna make a big deal or something. This is perfect. This is, she's not gonna be in that hospital much longer, but she will, these will definitely help her get better quicker. So sweet, thank you. Of course. Uh, thank you so much, it's really beautiful. Thank with, you. 
if you want to continue reading that letter, that's not the only gift that we wanted to send you. This is more than, this is enough. You've got this, Mr. Stevens. The hard work and dedication you put into this job do not go unnoticed. The countless hours that you spend here not only reflect how much you care about the school and the people here, but also show how much you love your wife. You spent far too many hours working tirelessly and humbly to keep up with her medical expenses and not enough time with her in this fight, you should know. That you're not alone. You're too humble to reach out and ask for help, but we're a family at this school and you, the heart and soul of it. This last gift is something from all the students and staff and community to show our appreciation and let you know that you're not alone. We love you, Mr. Stevens. We do. Uh, we set up a fundraiser. Yeah. That fundraiser, uh... Principal Evans. Mr. Stevens. What's going on? It's actually referring you to Ms. Stevens. Um, Principal Evans, I cannot. No, it's actually from everybody in school. Everybody came together. We did the fundraiser for you and your family. Hopefully, you can help. Thank you. <laughs> 